What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana, back at you with another YouTube video. These seven star Meganium raids are set to go live this week, so today I'll be going over some counters that you might want to bring in order to take these raids down. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Fight. 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 So per usual, before we hop into the actual counters, let's go ahead and quickly go over what we might be expecting once we do get into these raids. So Meganium is of course normally a pure grass type Pokemon. However, it is gonna have the psychic terror type for this raid. So it will essentially be a psychic type. Ability wise, all of the other seven stars have had their hidden abilities. So if they stick with that pattern, it will most likely have the ability Leaf Guard, which means that if Sunny Day is active, the Pokemon can't be status, but rest will also fail for it. As for its stats, Meganium has kind of mid stats. So it does have an HP stat of 80, an attack stat of 82, a defense stat of 100, a special attack stat of 83, a special defense stat of 100, and a speed of 80. So like I said, it just has kind of mid stats. And clearly it's not really a physical or a special attacker. I mean, it can go either way, but neither one of those is very good. So it's definitely just more of like a defensive Pokemon. As for its main moveset, I can definitely see them putting Zen Headbutt on there. And the only reason why I'm going with mostly physical moves for its moveset is because it doesn't really have a way to raise its special attack stats so I figure they're probably gonna lean on the physical side because of that, but I digress. So I can definitely see them putting Zen Headbutt on there because it's of course a psychic type move and it also has a 20% chance of making you flinch. Body Press for sure, which uses its defense stats instead of its attack stat. And as we saw, it doesn't really have a great attack stat to start with. So it makes sense for them to put Body Press on there since it takes their defense stat into account instead. I can also see them putting Petal Blizzard on there just because it is a grass type move. And then lastly for coverage, I can also see them putting something like Earthquake on there. As for its extra move set, it does get access to Sunny Day, which would come in handy for its ability. So I can definitely see them putting that on there. It also does get access to the move Curse, which lowers its speed, but it does give it plus one attack and plus one defense. So it's a way for it to set up. It does also get access to Sword Dance, which gives it plus two attack. And then lastly, maybe for just like one extra attacking move, I can definitely see them throwing Weather Ball on there since its power doubles and its type varies depending on the weather, which of course we saw that it can set up Sun. But so now that we have a bit of an idea of what exactly we might be going up against in these raids, let's go ahead and go over some counters that you might want to bring in order to take Meganium down. So per usual, I do have two different options for attackers and then two options for support Pokemon. Our first option is probably going to be better if you are trying to solo it, and that would be Annihilate. And I know what you're thinking, isn't Annihilate a fighting type Pokemon and we're going up against a psychic type Pokemon? Yes, you're right, but it is also a ghost type Pokemon and for the purposes of this raid will be a ghost Terra type. So we will be able to get rid of the psychic weakness after we terrestrialize. It also helps that Annihilate can take some pretty big physical hits, especially since Meganium doesn't really hit very hard. But item wise, we do have it holding a Shell Bell here, which is going to help you get some HP recovery back every time you do do a damage dealing move. And then its ability is of course going to be Defiant, which means that if any of its stats get lowered, it actually raises its attack stat. EV spread is going to be full HP and full attack with an attacking nature. And then as for its move sets, we are going to go for Taunt, Screech, Rage Fist, and Bulk Up. Taunt just prevents Meganium from doing any type of setup itself. Screech goes ahead and lowers its defense stat. Rage Fist is going to be your big damage dealing move that does super effective damage. And then Bulk Up is there for you to, of course, help you set up and also take any physical hits a lot better since it raises your defense as well as your attack. Not to mention Rage Fist is also great because the more times that Annihilate gets hit, the more more powerful Rage Fist becomes. So with a combination of Bulk Up helping you take physical hits a lot better and then Rage Fist, you should be pretty okay, even though initially you will have a bit of a weakness to any psychic type attacks. Another great option for attackers is going to be a Spiritomb, which is a ghost and dark type Pokemon. Item wise, it is gonna be holding a Life Orb, which does have the drawback of you losing HP every time you do use a damage dealing move. So this is definitely gonna be an option for if you have a good group with you. Its ability is going to be Infiltrator, which just means that Spiritomb is unaffected by any barrier, substitutes, or anything like that. And EV spread-wise, it is going to be full HP and full special attack with a special attacking nature. As for its moveset, it is going to have Hex, Nasty Plot, Dark Pulse, and Shadow Ball. 
all. Hex is cool because if Meganium gets any type of status condition, this move's power is actually doubled. Nasty Plot is there for you to, of course, set up. And then Dark Pulse and Shadow Ball are of course going to be your attacking moves of choice. And I almost forgot to mention that for this raid, you are probably going to want to go for a Ghost Terra type. As for support Pokemon, a great option to bring is always Grimmsnarl, which is a Dark and Fairy type Pokemon. And it is going to be holding the Wide Lens item, which makes inaccurate moves a little bit more accurate. EV Spread is going to be full HP and full defense, and it is going to have the ability Prankster, which gives any status moves priority. Moves that it is going to have Fake Tears, Reflect, Chilling Water, and Thunder Wave. Fake Tears is going to lower special defense. Reflect is going to mitigate the amount of damage that any physical moves do. Chilling Water is going to lower attack as well as do a little bit of damage. And then Thunder Wave paralyzes Meganium. So this would be a great Pokemon to bring if you plan on bringing Spiritomb so that you can use Hex. And per usual, you can never go wrong with good old reliable Umbreon for a support Pokemon, which is of course a pure dark type. Item-wise, it is going to be holding a citrus berry so that it can get a bit of HP recovery if needed. Ability wise, it is going to have the ability inner focus, which prevents it from flinching or being intimidated, which we saw earlier that Zen Headbutt does have the chance to flinch. So that's always nice. And then EV spread is going to be the same as Grimmsnarl. So it is going to be full HP and full defense with a defense nature. And moveset wise, it is going to have reflect, helping hand, fake tears, and rain dance. Reflect once again is going to mitigate the amount of damage of any physical attacks. Helping Hand is there to help set up your attacker. Fake Tears is going to lower special defense. And then Rain Dance is of course going to cancel out Sunny Day, since we know Meganium's ability enjoys Sunny Day. But there you have it. Those are a couple of Pokemon that you might want to bring in order to take down the Meganium Reeds. Leave a comment down below with what Pokemon you plan on bringing or what strategy you want to use so that other people can maybe get some ideas too. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, I kindly suggest you consider subscribing so that I can continue to make content for you guys. And if you are already subscribed and you would like another way to support the channel, feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to those of you who have joined the channel as members. I appreciate you all so much. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!